Next wonder, Great Lighthouse. Great Lighthouse gives you three gold. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, an admiral point. <laughs> oh, yeah. And and a plus one movement to all naval units. Uh, uh, so I'm gonna make, I'm gonna just say something right now. I'm gonna yeah. say something right now. If you're ever going to go to war in the game, Great Lighthouse is a tier. Is a tier if you're ever gonna go to war because if on you're Pangea? Moving, on Pangea. I I I and <laughs> my Pangea What do you mean? Uh movement. Naval units. Naval units. Though, Any right? embarked unit is considered a naval unit. Uh huh. So yeah, but if you're in Pangea, if you're moving how, your how? if you're moving your army, there it's so much quicker a lot of the times to just jump mm -hmm. in the ocean rather than go around mountains and go through trees and over rivers. Because one mm -hmm. with uh, with all the bonuses at the end of the game, your movement's so much faster in the water. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it also plays into a religious game then. Yeah, but right? what I will Especially... say is, uh, it's it, that's so situational. Like I, I'm, yeah. But yeah, it, it's 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 good. But I, I struggle for a religious game to say it's A tier because you still, like, you have to invest a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's a convenience wonder more than anything. Like, yeah. if you can build it, build it type of thing, right? Yeah. But it competes. It competes with another wonder, like Colossus. Yeah. Right? And Colossus is a little bit, well, not a little bit. It's like 110 I mean, more production. I'm honestly, but... I'm, I'm going to put it right on the line right here. Um Right between era score and B, um, because I feel like I I value it a little bit more, but I can't argue that for anything outside of a, a, a purely I've min maxed the crap out of everything, and I know you know like beyond that you're just not going to see the return on it. Yeah, yeah, but like you said, there is a direct contribution to the overall game strategy or yeah. victory path for like domination. So I would still throw it in a B. Tier. All right, it's yeah. just, but but from my experience, you know, I I feel like you're right. It's right there on the border because I just yeah. don't remember myself building it that often. It, it's 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 just yeah, it, it's good, but. Like in a culture game, not really. Uh, in a diplomacy game, not really. In a religion mm -hmm. game, I mean, we could argue it, but I, I would just, I would save the production. Um, just because in a religion game, I, I built next to nothing. I really do. Like if I build Apadana in a religion game, I, I'm like, I'm probably building more than I want to. If I'm being honest. Okay. Well, listen, that's a good segue into the next wonder, which is Apadana. Uh, a tier. Uh, or S tier, I mean, <laughs> sorry. God, uh, I just, I apparently just had a stroke there. And so Ap <laughs> Apadana, Sogar's favorite wonder. It yeah. Provides two great work slots. Yep, which is and amazing. And then the big thing is two envoys when it's built and. Right? Yep. Between the when it's built and with every other wonder built in this city. Yeah, and if you've ever watched one of my games, sometimes I'll have two or three wonders with like a few turns left on them in my capital because I haven't built Apadana yet, because that's how much I like Apadana. Is I will have like hanging gardens, which I super value. Uh one turn left. Well, I'm waiting for Apadana, um, because that's how strong early envoys are. Uh, your exploration, uh, and this is this is early envoys are strong because why? Because you uh, can exploration faster, levy right? like levy the troops for yep. uh, if you're playing, pillaging yeah, and war, pillaging okay. war exploration. Uh, like if you look on a deity game uh, to levy a city state, it's two hundred gold, uh, yeah. and that's so four cheap. warriors. To buy one warrior is one hundred and sixty gold. Um, that's why Apadana is broken strong. Uh, sometimes they build a warrior raid where that brings up to 240. You still can't buy, or you still can't buy two warriors for that. You can't even, yeah. get, you can't get two slingers for that. And you have yeah, five it's, warriors. It's huge. It's huge. And it's huge in the games where like, I feel like players overall underestimate, uh, Levin, the troops from city states. Oh, yeah. There are so many games where you can take an opportunity 
to actually use the city-state troops to power your war through. Oh, yeah. I, I had so many games where I would have a war and I wouldn't have enough troops to take or units to take over. But with Levin from a couple of city-states, it makes it so much easier. And it opens like several fronts too. Mm -hmm. or, or it can distract the AI, you know, and, and play into your overall tactical moves and whatnot. Yeah. It's just so big. So are, are, big. Are, that's why... Are my most uh, recent game I was playing there, where I I, uh, I found a bunch of city states on the second continent, and I levied their troops to go pillage. You know, I was like, well, yeah. they're all gonna die, but I'm getting free yields. I don't care what happens. You know, exactly. like I, I can't do anything else. But it was 240 gold. I got a bunch of science and culture, and the uh, rival could do nothing to me because there was you know water between us. Yeah, it's like the Varangian um, uh, Norway, right? Yeah. Where where they get they get um, yields from pillaging yeah that, and levy troops do that too as far as I understand right yeah so you can levy the troops you can pillage get the yields from pillaging themselves and also get the uh, you know the bonus from the from the leader yeah and that's that's just levying troops from city states but the envoys I mean. I, I always say it, uh, in deity, you can't have severity of every city-state in a long game. Uh, eventually, the AI will get more envoys in one city-state. But if you get your envoys fast enough, you can be cesarean of every city-state for a while. Uh, and mm -hmm. Abadana gets you your envoys early enough that you can get severity everywhere. Um mm -hmm. And that pays off when you reach uh, the the 5% for each Cesarity card, when you get Raj, when you get those city-state-focused uh, policy cards. Uh, if you've outraced the AI where they they haven't piled their envoys into a certain city-state and, and you have just all that Cesarity, you're getting so many yields. Um, yeah. You look at your Killwa and stuff. Like this... Uh, Apadana is just one of those wonders that that scales well with other with with a lot of the stronger strategies. Yep, absolutely agreed. Next up, the Coliseum. Coliseum is awesome. Yeah, right. Because and it's an S tier. I feel like you I'm, think it's S tier. Yeah, I try to build it in every single game. Uh, Ah, okay. All right. Let's put it on the line here because I, I want to discuss <laughs> Hold it. on. So two culture, three amenities to this city and all cities within six tiles. So a, a very nice, you know, and, and planning planned placement of Galicium can, can produce quite a bit. Yeah. Because you can, I mean, I, I feel like it's huge. Amenities are hard to come by. Culture is hard to come by. And I feel like it makes total sense. Uh, I mean, uh, okay, okay. Here, here's my one question. In the ranking, are we, are we holding requirements to build against the wonder? Yeah. We are? We should. We should then we we're should going, then it's them. going into A tier. Because uh, you have to build an entertainment center. Well, in, but but you have to build entertainment center, right? Like yeah, for to build the wonder, booths. you have to build an entertainment center. No, no, so I'm it's going A tier. On. It's going A tier. Why are you building an entertainment center in a science game? Because I always need amenities, man, for production purposes, for growth. You know what I mean? Like amenities to me are huge because so you're gonna ecstatic build cities. In... Ecstatic cities get twenty percent. Yeah, so you're um, gonna build boost. an entertainment center before a commercial before. hub or a campus. Uh, no, I so gotta have a couple of commercial build... hubs going. So uh, what, what, I might what turn are we it... gonna build Coliseum on? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It, it usually comes around. I guess for me, if it's still available, maybe turn sixty ish. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I... seventy, like around the same time that you know religion is established, maybe something like that. Okay. Um, and this is this is my this is my problem with it. I, I am a huge and don't get me wrong. I I I love Coliseum. I go out of my way to get Coliseum uh, in like a Khmer game, or if I have a city that has an extra district, or if the Great Engineer that gives you the extra district slot with uh, printing 
Eureka happened to be the first engineer, you'll see a lot of Colosseum in those scenarios. Um, otherwise, it's sending me out of an imperfect uh, path um, because I have to, like, I love Colosseum. Like, don't, like, if I ever have the chance to get it, I do, and it's so strong, um, but it's not as strong as... As like, what? Built in other districts? Yeah. Well, I, and like, I guess... Because Coliseum itself, right? It's only competing with Apadana around that time. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I guess, I guess let, me, let me back up and say, I'm taking all victories into consideration here. Um, if I'm doing a culture game, it's S tier. If I'm doing a science game, it's A tier. Because uh -huh. in a culture uh -huh. game, I can swing uh, Entertainment Center a lot easier. In a science game, I can't break from Commercial Hub Campus. Uh, it's it's you're you're gonna struggle. Um, mm -hmm. I, you know what? Another thing is like you, you the, those extra amenities will help you trade away your luxuries yes. and earn more gold. Okay, so there are these things that Coliseum offers to me. That yeah. all eventually they, they actually pay off and contribute to the game. Um, but like you said, you know, some some victory types of test here. Yeah, I, I mean, like, and that, like I would actually have no problem putting in an S tier. Um, it's fine. It, it, it's it fine. just pains me because I'm not I, I, I hate uh, like anything that involves an entertainment center is, is going to be a, a struggle for me to ever consider. But you still have to build two entertainment centers, right? No, I don't. Like to provide boosts for like one of the civics or tax. Or How whatever. much culture per turn are you earning at that point? How many, like, it's not like a science game where you have to like clear the entire culture tree out of the, the entire science tree. The culture tree is optional. There's far fewer cultures than tax. Like you can mix, miss some culture boosts. That doesn't hurt me none. Okay. All right. All right. Fine. I mean, it's, fine, it's, fine. it's a, it's Let's a late leave it an A tier, but honestly, I feel like it might be like generally. I would say it's probably of one of the strongest A. You got to remember, I put Hanging Gardens in A tier, and I love Hanging Gardens. Like, <laughs> that's true. That's true. And it also, like, it depends. The impact of Hanging Gardens early on is huge, right? Yeah. So you have to think about it in, in those terms, not just yields that yeah. a wonder provides. All right, all right, all right, fine. Next wonder is Colossus. So uh, Colossus is easy enough to build. Yeah, you just, I, I mean... You just need the coastal city. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Colosseum is the better wonder. Let me just say that right now. Colosseum is Did better. Did you just drag Colossus to S tier? Yes. And that's why I'm saying. Let me <laughs> let me so say this. Colosseum <laughs> is better in every way except for the fact that it's tied to an entertainment center. Colossus mm -hmm. gives you a free trade route. Which trade routes are game winning? Like trade routes win games. Uh, like like an early trade route gets you to that trade route uh, for a city the second it's settled, which makes every city stronger. Um, but the requirements are so easy. It's so easy, and unless Norway's in game, no one's building it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like like uh, I would say, if you ask me which wonder was better. Colosseum every time. Um, but which wonder am I going to build every single game? Colossus. You know, it's, it's just such a struggle for me. I see what you're saying. And they cost exactly the same, 400 yeah. production. And it's like, I get it. You get one trader. It's, I don't know. You don't, I, don't I mean, I can move it down. I'll move it down to A. I'll move it down to A. Does that make you feel better? I think it's an A. It's an A because, like, I know you build like 40 trade trade routes every game i get it yeah but, and and that and in that respect because you're going to generate so many trade routes uh, i don't know I don't but know. it's a trade route next trade route is always i get it I because get it. like when you're mm. settling your sixth city yeah uh and you can put a trade route in and on turn one that city is mm -hmm. going to grow so much faster it's mm -hmm. one of those if you can get a trade route in your city the second it's settled uh, and mm -hmm. every city has a trade route, you're going to perform that much better um, because the faster your city is actually doing something, the better you're doing. And that's why I value Colossus so much. Um, yeah. 
No. It's a high A tier, yeah. basically. It, it needs to be on the border. Always. Yeah, I, I would say I would, along like, with Coliseum and 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 Colossus. When, when we're done, I'll 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 put these like in order. The closest to the ranking is the strongest. Like, I mean, I guess I could shift them around right now. It wouldn't be that. No, hard. no, don't worry about uh, it. Are you sure? Sure? Like, I, I yeah, think, we, I think visually that would be really nice if you could just look and read it left to right. Ah, uh, I see what you're saying. Do it. Do it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hold up. Yeah. So yeah. I, I'm gonna. Just, well, I'll I'll talk about the next one. All right, fire away. What you got for me? The next wonder is like I have never built it on Deity, ever. Not okay. a single game. It's great library. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, uh, I, 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 I guess you can chop it out somehow. I mean, there's plus two science. There's plus two science, plus two great works for writing, right? Yep. Two slots. Uh, and a scientist point. And then you receive a boost to all ancient and classical era technologies, but you're already in the classical era. Yeah. So I don't really understand like the benefit of that. It, um, so rarely do you get more than three or four boosts. But then you also get like a random tech boost after another player recruits a grace. So there are like obscure bonuses that yeah. come with it as well. It also gets a great writer point. So there are a lot of like uh, effects that come with great library. Yes. Um, but the great library is so competitive. It's, I mean, it's incredibly competitive. And... It does not provide enough. Um, if you're playing a long game, great library is great. Uh, like I get it. If you get a li great library and the AI is cranking out great scientists and you're getting the boosts on those end game techs, awesome. Mm -hmm. But if you're mm -hmm. playing a good game, uh, like in my games, by the time I'm reaching those techs, every city is doing a campus project. So no one's getting a great scientist but me. So I get no attacks from it. Um, yeah, see, but that's a, an excellent point because in most, I guess for most players, they would be competing against AI who constantly recruits yeah. great scientists. So early... So that's, that's actually one of the effects that I always disregard it. Comes yeah. To um, early, you're, like, you're getting boosts that are a lot of times easy to get. Like the, the mid-tier, the, the renaissance... Uh, like like that middle of the science tree. I there's not any of them that stand out other than like the armory based ones where you need like the uh, military engineer and stuff like that. Um, that are really hard to get. Um, there's a few that are somewhat annoying, but like great library pays off a lot more at the end of the tree. Um, but at that point, and, and I guess this is depending on are we ranking this based off min maxing our regular game uh both i guess yeah because and uh, for me i i don't even care about great library i it's it's not even on the list of things i like the only times i've ever built it it's usually built after me going oh wow great library is still available i guess you know like mm -hmm. I, it, mm -hmm. it, it does it doesn't do enough um, caveat, I'm trying to win under 200, 200 turns. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Like, like, all right. I, so, I feel like, you know, it's, it's a good wonder to build in general. Right. Like, yeah. But I would say highest B tier or lowest A tier. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, I don't know. I, what, I agree. Like, I agree. what do you feel? A or B? I'll, I'll let you decide. Your games are a little bit longer than mine. I throw it in the B just because it's impossible to build it. Yeah. As well. I know, would, in yeah. addition, it, so it's like if, if you divert resources to building great library, you might lose out. Yeah. Quickly. Well, and the problem is it's unlocked by culture. I guess. I, I guess. Yeah. Let me. Let me. Let me back it up. Uh, the pro. Another problem with great library. But you put in it as a number one so far in B tier. I, I would say either yeah. that or yeah, I agree. I'm, the two agree. science one that I would say are the best. I'm gonna put yeah. Stonehenge all the way at the bottom of B tier because it's so situational. Yeah. Uh, I mean, as the yeah, number one the Stonehenge others. fan, uh, I'm going to say Stonehenge is so incredibly situational, and I love Stonehenge, and I've had so many arguments about it. All right, great But library. no, great library. It's unlocked by culture, um, so the AI is already going to get it, get access to it before you. 
And I mm-hmm. believe this is what you were touching on when you said you have to divert so much. Mm-hmm. You literally have to throw everything into Great Library mm-hmm. in most games mm-hmm. to get it. Exactly. You're chopping, right? You're doing, yeah. you're throwing all that production that you could be using on on something more sure, yeah. I guess, right? So, now, yeah. if you're Babylon, oh yeah, 100%. <laughs> uh, like, yeah. like, don't get me wrong, there is, there's lots of situations where great lot, uh, but like I said, that's true about everyone. What, wait, 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 why would Babylon be, why, why do we high, highlight Babylon? Uh, because you get a free technology every time somebody recruits a great scientist. Oh. At that point, you never, you never, you pass on every great scientist. Um, you just let the AI get every single great scientist, and you just get free techs every once in a while. But that's true. But why is it specific to Babylon? Because Babylon, you just don't produce enough science. You because just Babylon on... gets a, a free a free tech for Eureka's. Right. So you don't you don't focus on science per turn. Yeah. So every other or, civilization is only getting a free Eureka every time that somebody gets a great scientist. Babylon's getting a free technology. Do you, do you understand now? No. Okay. Babylon's ability is to get a free tech from Eureka's, right? Correct. And the Great mm-hmm. Library gives you a Eureka every time somebody gets a great scientist. Oh. <laughs> I always love these moments <laughs> where like where this like simple strategy <laughs> that like is yeah. pretty common is introduced to you and you like just have like that like come to Jesus moment where you're yeah. like, oh my god. <laughs> that is genius. Wow. I can't yeah. believe you've like I never considered it because first of all, I never built it. And I don't think I played Babylon, but I did not even think about building a great library. Yeah. And, but you're building campuses with Babylon, which is like, I get it, but don't like, yeah, it, it's not worth it. Moving on. Jebel Barkal. Uh, so it's six iron per turn in, in gathering storm. And, yep. and, Plus, plus four faith to the cities within six tiles. That's that's a pretty strong wonder if you can build it. Yeah, I, and and this the problem it, with it, it's like any desert wonder, though, right? Like, yeah. you need some kind of production chopping somehow. And I'm you, putting it on the very top of A tier because this is a wonder. Um, one, it's super competitive. Super competitive. Yeah. The AI loves this. Because of because of iron, I think, yep. right? B, what you're saying right now, okay, you need chops, but you also need a desert hell. So the chances of this wonder, like the city that produces this wonder is uncommon. But if you can build this wonder, you have like turned your game around. Like mm-hmm. you have, uh, the what was the bonuses again? It's for faith. To all cities within six tiles. That's insane. That mm-hmm. is absolutely insane. That ha- that because you can have how many cities do you think within six tiles? Probably like six. I I more. regularly get four to five cities around this without trying, like just building it, like just accidentally building it. You know where yeah. where it was four just cities. Is, yeah, four cities, so you can get like sixteen, maybe yeah. twenty faith in classical era. That's and, and like I said, that's that's me just going. Oh my God, this is available. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> if I would have noticed it earlier, I could definitely produce better. Honestly, um, and I think if you went in the game, if you went into the game knowing that, um, this is one of the wonders that's amazing. But I never think about because of how competitive it is. Mm-hmm. But you would put it above Coliseum. Ah, I mean, I would put it below because it's harder to build. Uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. And Colosseum, like, I, I, it's weird. Colosseum is either the most competitive wonder in the game, or it doesn't matter to the AI. There's no right? ground. Yeah, I saw that too. Yeah, that's interesting. No, I, I and was, the, and the, the AI doesn't build it until like later. I feel like most of the time, turns seventy or something like that. I would say, yeah, they both struggle from the same thing of the building requirements, hold it back more so. Um, the ability is top tier, 
building requirements uh, leaves a lot to be desired. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next wonder is Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. You know what? I still don't understand how it works. I built it once. Um, so it provides plus four gold. That is fine. And then mountain tiles provide the standard adjacency bonus, which is plus one. Yep. Right? To commercial hub, theater, and industrial zone in all cities. Yep. Oh. Uh, it's so an error score to... category. It's an error score category. You you can argue with me, but uh, let me let me explain. You can't use a great engineer on it. Because you hate adjacency bonuses. That's why. <laughs> no, I don't hate adjacency. It's just not as important as people think it is. Right. You, you disregard them. I get it. Yeah. But wait, hold on a second. You I mean, know, I always miss. I always miss out on it. I never pay attention to it. It's, so it's impossible get... to get the the AI loves this wonder more than uh -huh. anything. Like it, uh -huh. uh, there are games where this is the first wonder built. Like it's like wow. ancient. Okay. I've seen it built in ancient era at least once, and I was uh -huh. like, "Oh, Babylon's in game. That's good to know." Um, but like it, it's it's so comical how early dude, it gets built. But but also like the mountain adjacency to the districts that do not get mountain adjacency yeah. anyway. So it's like you would never build your districts next to mountains like commercial hub or theater square yeah. or industrial zone. You just don't. Yeah. So it's a completely I don't even see the benefit of it. It's, I, it's I a it's it a sucks. it's a good wonder. Um why? But Why like, is it a good one? It's, it's a good wonder, but it's not good enough to, to risk losing the production. On. Why is it a good wonder? Tell me. Like, give me, give me one benefit that I would be like, do you think that, that additional adjacency from mountain tiles only? No, I is, don't. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to play devil's advocate wonder? here. <laughs> right. Because people like it. I'm trying, to be, I'm trying to be the everyman right now. And I really have, like... It yeah, helps. put it at the at the end of the error score. Like I, I, I don't, I just don't see it. I oh, so you know. want you want which end? The far end. The far end. You want it to be the yeah. lowest ranked wonder. Exactly. Are you trying? Like, wow, <laughs> that's you. <laughs> you know what? If somebody disagrees, you can comment and tell me why. And and you know what? Give me a game. And describe me a game where that wonder made a difference. People are going to send you so many industrial difference. zones. Like, because, like, from mountain tiles, people are going to send you so many industrial zones surrounded by mountains. People are going to send you, <laughs> like, and I, I am not disagreeing with you, but, like, like this, <laughs> like, you are now oh, entering the realm of me saying the Hansa is a bad district. Uh, like, people are getting their pitchforks and torches ready with, like, and I agree, I'm here for it. I 100% don't like the wonder. Um, it works out for, like, it's fine for, like, theater squares and stuff if you're building them in, like, off cities that don't have wonders and stuff. But, yeah, it, it doesn't. It's not game-changing. Yeah, let, let's look for some obscure reasons to buy it. No, no, no. no. Build it. <laughs> uh, let's I let's love on. I love that Stonehenge is above <laughs> Machu Picchu. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> It makes total. I sense. love that great bath is above my. I mean, I agree. I I honestly agree. And this because adjacency does not matter as much as people like to think it does, mm -hmm. and that's that's the problem. Yeah. All right. Oh my god. Next that's wonder. So you're gonna you're gonna love the next wonder. It's Mahabudi Temple. Two Apostle Temple. I love this. Two thing. Apostle Temple. Yeah. And right. and. In Gathering Storm, it's plus two diplomatic victory points. So I, if you're playing diplomatic victory, yeah. it's a direct impact. I I would call it an S tier. You think it's S tier? I, I think it's S tier just because apostles are huge, right? Actually, so I'm going to agree with you. I, I've backed off building Mahabudi Temple as much as I used to, mostly just because I'm not having the requirements for it in my games as often as I used to. Because mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. it has to be built on woods. Yeah, next to a holy site. site. And, and you usually chop yeah, it. Yeah, right? and I've so gotten like really sloppy things. about remembering it. Yeah. Uh, and I, But I would say, yeah, it's... Uh, and and just to go back to Stonehenge, 
that's why Stonehenge is in B tier because you only need one apostle to get your religion complete, in my opinion. You only need two religious beliefs. So the one that you unlock with the origin and one apostle. So Stonehenge mm. can finish your religion. Mahabudi Temple uh, finishes your religion uh, and then sometimes gives you an extra apostle. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, yeah, I, I guess. Well, I may, maybe, well, maybe it's not an S tier because it's not like you need apostles right like they help i that's why i wanted to put into a tier because yeah like, okay. I, I feel yes. like it's yes yes, yes it's yes. it's like s tier is it's amazing in every game every victory you should mm -hmm. build it yeah uh, a tier Indeed. i think is most games you should be building this there's the argument against it but most games you should build it and b tier is it's worth the production that's how I Fair. look at it. Fair um, enough. Fair enough. And error score is <laughs> self-explanatory. Do you need error score? Um, do you have space in your Apadana city? Build these. <laughs> exactly. Um, all right. All right. Well, the next wonder is actually S tier, but hands down, mausoleum. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, what does it and do? And mausoleum. You know, and it's funny because, like, you see it again and again where people showing you these coastal cities with ridiculous yields. Yes. Along with Auckland production yields. Oh, yeah. Um, and they're so proud of it. But I feel like people are often missing out on the, the hugest effect that it has on the game is yeah. the plus one charge for each great engineer. Yeah, and I mean, you get that extra charge to for your first engineer. Basically, you could yep. get one, right? If you Meaning get that... Imahotep uh, as the first grade engineer, and you use Imahotep to finish Mausoleum, if you use his first charge, you get the charge back. Like, because then he That's has two amazing. charges. Again. That's amazing in itself. Yeah, right? like it, it's... it's so. Uh, combined with Oracle, combined with a faith-based game, Mausoleum is so broken strong. Uh, cause because every great engineer. Would, yeah, you want to lure those great engineers. It's going to be hard to hard earn them with yeah. points, right? Like you have to buy them. Yep. And more often than not, you should plan to buy them with faith. Yeah. And that's why Sogar is saying Oracle is that important yeah. and the synergy between these wonders is just i mean it will take your game to a whole other level yeah and if you look at like what those great engineers provide you're getting so much return on investment when you oh get god mausoleum no. like like the obvious ones the wonder engineers yeah that's right. great but the free district are not free district but the district slot engineers mm -hmm. where you can put extra districts uh, and then, uh, an, no, it's in multiple cities, right? Yep. Or like more districts in the same city. Or uh, I forget, is it Vatican City that gives you a religious burst for every charge of a great person used? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you do that with the walls uh, engineer. And oh my God, you're like, like there's so much synergy with that mausoleum with so many facets to the game where you can just create these little strategies um, that it's it's just broken strong. Um, that Wait, extra do, wall. Does, um, what about like Leonardo da Vinci? Workshops provide plus three culture with Leo. Yeah. Meaning, meaning that if you use them twice, there will be plus six culture in every workshop. I guess if, that if, one. If you I'm build not industrial sure. zones, yeah. I guess I'm not sure on that one. It is. It, it is. It I stack. played. I played Lincoln, right? And yeah. with Lincoln, you want to build industrial zones. It stacks. You get plus six for every. Oh workshop. well, that's huge. Yeah. yeah no, yeah. and that like it. It literally makes every engineer better. Yeah, and and, yeah. and the great engineers are that class. Uh, for me, they're just they're they're good, great people. But I feel like in an average game, like a, a three hundred turn game, great engineers are so strong. Uh, mm -hmm. Like the people who are like your average ca like casual players are just learning out. The bonuses from those great engineers are game breaking. Like that twenty percent to space projects. Uh, if you get two charges of that, that's huge. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Like, like it's, it's like, uh, it's, I feel like mausoleum is, is valued for the wrong, like people are building yeah. it saying, Oh, it's a, yeah. a great wonder. And they yeah. like, cause it's an S tier screenshot wonder. Don't get me wrong. Like if you're looking for, if you're looking to put a screenshot on like Reddit or, or something and get a bunch of people to like it, uh, mausoleum and Petra are some of the best wonders for that because people will just love them. But gameplay wise, that great engineer extra charge is so big. You know what? Let's talk about Petra. All right. Petra, Petra costs the same. See, Petra to me is one of those wonders that is <laughs> easier to build. Yep. And, and it makes any city in the desert oh, yeah. just uh -huh. instantly, yep. instantly so much better. Oh, uh, yeah. With a bunch of gold, two food, two gold. Yep. And production on all desert types. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's pretty amazing. I go out of my way. To build Petra, so it's an A-tier wonder, Sogar, not an Eris. <laughs> yeah. Drag um, it up. Um, <laughs> Drag it up. <laughs> um, qu question. Qu question for you. Yeah. How is that Petra city doing if the AI gets Petra? Not so good. Um, why are you settling a city for a wonder that you don't that you have to build after no, you oh, settle no, 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 the no. city? Don't don't get me wrong. I wouldn't build this wonder. Uh, I wouldn't settle a city for this wonder. But okay. a lot of times you just expand and boom, here's a city in the desert. Okay. You know, or maybe on the border of the desert, actually. That works best. And if there is a natural wonder nearby, that makes it even better. You know? Okay. Um, but in general, this wonder is just, it has a special... It has a special place in everyone's special. heart. <laughs> exactly. Everyone exactly. loves Petra um, because you I go... just You can't put Petra in the same tier as Machu Picchu. You just can't. <laughs> <laughs> we can uh, laugh all you want, but you can't put it there. I, I, uh, I just, uh, no. I'm going to hang up. I'm going to be honest. Th there's a, there's going to be a bunch of people who are like, you can put Machu Picchu and Petra in the same tier, and I that tier is S tier. People. It's me and you talking right now. I know, but I just love that because no one has ever agreed on my stance on Machu Picchu. I'm just so happy. <laughs> well, you're rubbing off on me, obviously. <laughs> okay, but you ser you seriously are going to say, it. like, like, it's food and gold for Petra, right? That's it. Well, and one production for every desert tile, though, in that like, city. For that city, I mean, I don't know. I feel like that city instantly becomes like one of your top cities, basically. But it doesn't. It, it gives you a bunch of it gives you a bunch of plain hills. Yeah, it produces gold, but it gives you a bunch of plain hills. I'll, I'll put it in the top of the era score column as far away from Machu Picchu as I can. But I need you to explain to me how. It compares to Stonehenge in quality. Uh, yeah, the overall impact on the game yeah. is not is not as scalable. Um, that's for sure. So you're improving so, one city. I mean, logically, yes. you know, if I listen to the logic, yeah, it makes sense to leave it in error score. However. There are other things in life, like emotions and attachments. <laughs> do do that I need are to just make as important? Do I need to make another column that just says, <laughs> "But Kane likes this"? No, you know what? Maybe, maybe it does make sense to have like emotional attachment. Column. Yeah, like, like it's funny because it just seems like if we rewind, I, I feel like you okay, were just you know trashing what? on okay. mausoleum. Here's like, Here's one thing. Yep. Fun factor. Fun factor. You can't take away fun out of the game. And Petra is one of those wonders that just adds to it. Okay. okay. Well, uh, there you go. What what's what 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 was the strong suit? That's of, enough to move it. What, was, what was the strong suit of Mausoleum again? Was it the yield? <laughs> no. Okay. Like if you had 
uh, if, if, if you Petra had... had an additional effect, then then we would talk about it. But Petra only has only <laughs> improves desert. Yeah, it only improves desert in one city. It gives nothing <laughs> else to the rest of your empire. It <laughs> suffers from the exact same thing as Temple of we were, Artemis. We were just talking in circles. I get it. I get it. But can you move it to B tier, please? I can't. I'm sorry. Unless you give me a viable argument, I don't think I can. I'm trying to. Here, let me see. No, the mouse won't click on it, man. Uh, well, I, oh, you know what's funny? I'll what? probably um, edit the video anyway after the stream, so no worries. Oh, fi fine. Yeah. Fine. We're no, good. Here, We're here, good. here, 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 here. What, what are you doing? There, there. Are you happy? Are you happy? Is that what you Wait, want? Are you putting it after Stonehenge? Yes. Because Stonehenge can either get you a religion, which is which is empire wide once again, or it can get you an apostle and finish your religion earlier than anyone else. So yeah, but the difference is like it's so much easier, not easier to build Petra. It's more available. Yeah, but Petra is actually not easy to build. Yeah, but time. entertainment again, in the desert. Yeah, but really. entertainment centers and Machu Picchu are available. Are you going to build a lot of those? Machu Picchu is available. Great baths I'll, available. I'll definitely prioritize entertainment center for the Coliseum. Okay. Before before building the Petra, that's for sure. That's why Coliseum is in the A tier. But and that's why I think am Petra. I, and am I Machu going to build? Am I going to build the lighthouse before Petra? Nah, not so much. What 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 victory does Petra get you towards? Any victory. <laughs> Food, food and gold. Gold. <laughs> you, you, you don't understand. You can get so much gold out of that city yep. immediately. Uh, that And gold is, is useful for anything. Is it now? Yeah. I, I was unaware of this. Yeah. Tell, me more about the, tell me more about the usefulness of gold in the game, please. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best currency right there. <laughs> fine. Fine. Are you... Uh, all right. We're like... I hate Petra. I do. I go out of my way not to build Petra and Molly games. Yeah, see, because you have like uh, you have those uh, subjective feelings, you know. There, I will put it in the middle of B tier for you. Are you happy? I feel like you had an emotional damage at some point in one of your games, and now you hate it. No, I. J the reason why I dislike it is because I've seen so many screenshots of Petra cities with, uh, I don't know how to pronounce the city state. Is it Nazca? Mm -hmm. uh, with Nazca lines on every single tile. So none of the tiles are workable and people are like, Oh, look at my amazing desert city. And it's like, yeah, you can't work any of those tiles. Like, <laughs> yeah. like yeah. I, I've just seen so many of those and I've seen it so much. And it's like, that does not matter. Like, like, yeah. like it's, it's a meme, you know, moment. Yeah, and I guess that's it's why cool. I dislike part, it. Part of the game. Fine, the game. fine. I, I'll put my. I don't even know if, if if Petra should be in front of Temple of Artemis. No, I'm just kidding. All right, I would say Temple of Artemis is better. I mean, yes, yes. these I three: like uh, Great Library, Entima, uh How is it? Entomaki, mm -hmm. uh, and Temple of Artemis are all strong they they are they're just situational like they're just yeah you need they, the they... right situation for it exactly all right well what about the next one statue of zeus i have no idea what statue of zeus does okay. i just know it's awful it, again it provides you one of the better yields plus three gold okay it gives you plus 50 production towards anti-cavalry units across your ship so you like you, you build oh, spearmen so, much so you can build the worst unit faster okay that's <laughs> exactly good. exactly it must be built adjacent to an encampment with barracks so you oh have my. to have good... oh wow all right so and, that's awful and and you get six free units three spearmen three archers and the battering ram so Seven. What is like? What's the production cost of the Statue of Zeus versus the units? So four hundred for Zeus, right? And then we have spearmen at sixty-five. So three spearmen will cost you around two hundred. Okay. Right, 
And it's probably the same for the Archer, maybe a little cheaper, actually. I, I, I want to say they're pretty comparable. Yeah, 60. So 200, 200, yeah, you would probably get around 400. Okay. By bit hard building uh, spearmen and archers. And how much did the wonder cost again? Four hundred. Okay. Yeah. So you're getting more production. I, I just want to point out that uh, Thomas said one other Petra, one other problem with Petra is you have a hard time building it if Imo, uh, unless Imhotep is available. And I agree. I, I agree. Right. I I mean that's any desert wonder, right, Thomas? It's going to be tough. And um, I try to build Petra on the border so that I have some access to on the border of the desert. So I have access to some woods to chop. So, um, so that the Petra city is and, overall weaker. Yep. I get it. So a weak <laughs> city. No, it's going to be a huge city. <laughs> no, 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 be... no, I get it. You, you want as little desert as possible in your Petra city. <laughs> when you, oh. you, you heard it from Ken. <laughs> no, when no, you're no, building no, no, your no, no. Petra city, make sure you have trees. <laughs> you want to get... <laughs> well, how how else are you going to build it, right? Unless you use a great engineer charge, which is, ugh, I can't even make myself do that because there are other wonders that are more. Important. Okay, so Petra is now back down into era score. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you, Thomas. Thomas, the number one fan. You guys suck. <laughs> anyway, all right. Thomas is now an official sponsor of the channel. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. Uh, I'm just, I'm just I, happy, like wait, because I was like so, Petra. I was so upset with you, like Did trying you to spend like 20 minutes talking about it when I finally won the argument, and now it's back. And well, like I just seconds. like, I just wanted to make you happy because, like, generally, I'm just like, me. I, generally, I'm just trashing on you and telling you you're wrong. So I was trying to throw you a bone. I was trying to give you something, um, but I, I couldn't, I couldn't like believe that you were trying to argue that Petra was anything. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't well. believe you folded. I, I, I was so surprised when you moved it to B tier. I'm like, wow, he's really doing it. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> all right. Anyways, back to Statue of Zeus. No, yeah. The Statue only wonder that, uh, uh, I mean, yeah. You know what? It actually, I built it once. Yep. I built it once playing Zulu and doing like earlier domination than yep. later because Zulu are anti cavalry i yep. want to say right so yep. you can use that wonder towards domination for specific civil leaders so i wouldn't put it in era score only because it contributes to the domination victory if you play it in a certain way right? uh, I, here's what i'm gonna say here's what i'm gonna say why are you building an encampment to build the statue of zeus okay so you're building <laughs> you're building an encampment which is slowing down your advancement down the text tree, which is slowing your advancement to another trade trade route to uh, decrease movement times for units. Uh, you're slowing down your, if you're uh, a faith-based domination civ, your acquisition of faith for an encampment, is what you're telling me. But if you are playing, even if you're playing domination, if you're playing straight domination, if you're mm -hmm. playing straight domination, your first district should be a campus um, because you want your tech advantage as soon as possible because technology is going to win the game. Uh, your second district is going to be a trade district because you need gold uh, to pay maintenance cost. Mm -hmm. um, plus for trade, uh, trade routes, you can either send them domestically to build up your cities for increased production mm -hmm. or internationally to get trade routes to future targets. Um, so your first, I mean, it, de it depends on the set though. Like at some point you might want to go the faith route, right? And, and with, well, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. with if, great masters. Yeah. So, but this is what I'm saying. Uh, uh, in your average domination sieve. Uh, the best best case scenario is campus, commercial hub, or harbor. Yeah. Now, if you're Byzantium, if you're playing a domination game with like Khmer or something like that, you're going to want to get that holy site. Um, which puts... well, with Byzantium, I want to build an entertainment center. <laughs> well, you want to build, yeah, but you want faith as well. Yes, no, no, absolutely. So, but what I'm yeah, saying no, is, I see your where, point. Does, it's where does encampment fall in your district order? to actually get this built yeah because i think that's the point that is always often missed as well right like 
to you whatever you just said in the sense of that it is slowing down and distracting you from the progress down the tree yeah by building um it's not helping uh just uh, so that it provides some general points though right like yeah how do you earn a general a great general because you're going to need one i feel like it's very useful at least in a domination game so I very rarely earn. I very rarely earn great generals in my domination games. Oh, really? Uh, mm. But this is where I'm saying the tech the tech advantage wins because great generals what five combat bonus? Yeah. Uh, if and you, plus movement, movement yeah, point. As if well. you have the tech advantage, if you're like uh, if you're using man at arms against warriors, that's more than five. That's more than five. Uh, combat bonus if you're using modern armor versus cavalry that's more than five combat bonus uh if you focus on getting science um and getting your troops stronger it's just gonna it's gonna do better than and that's my main problem with encampments is any argument for an encampment um falls apart when you think of how the game functions Mm -hmm. uh you want your encampments in the cities you conquer not in your not in your core cities and to build a wonder you either need production or chops it needs to be a somewhat put together city right yeah yeah no, so the so, troops that well, have and, and yeah like if i look at my own games you're right i mean if you're conquering then you don't even need to build a bunch of different districts right yeah you are going to take them over. But like looking at my own games, I'm trying to use my own experience. I I would build an encampment not for a not for a domination game, but for like a turtling game. Oh yeah. <laughs> for defense. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my God. Oh this is like another Petra argument. <laughs> no, but I'm saying like I'm just saying I'm agreeing with you. I'm yeah, yeah. No. With you. That, no, that and that's a useless. It's a pretty useless uh, district. Yeah. Actually. So now no. you're building a useless, useless district for a wonder that gives you gives you a production bonus to the worst unit type, um, by far. Uh, <laughs> like, I, unless you're Zulu. Unless you're Zulu, unless you're Sparta. Yeah. If you're Zulu or yeah. Sparta. Um, exactly. But what what civic is this unlocked by? Because this is in the culture tree again. M military training. Okay, so that's not as far down as I thought. It no, was. no, no. It's very early. For it's, some reason, see, I thought see, that's that's another thing. It's very, very early. But it costs four hundred production. It's very early, but if you're building an, but you have to build an encampment that early. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And barracks. Yeah, and that's my that is my problem with it is I don't like encampments. Uh, the only use for an encampment, uh, there's two uses for an encampment. One, uh, in a science game, I put it in my spaceport city for the fifteen percent with the policy card. Um, that obviously, but that that I'm just building it at the end of the game just for that one bonus, um, and I usually faith buy it with the spaceport. Uh, two. If you conquer an encampment, it's worth getting the military academy to build armies if you conquer an encampment like on a new continent or something. Mm. Yeah, no, that makes sense. But otherwise, you're like, and the Statue of Zeus gives you two movement point units. So if you build it in your territory, it's going to be, what, 10 turns before they get to the front line? <laughs> yeah. 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 I, 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 there's, Moving there's just, on. Yeah, there's just so many problems with it. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I mean, that's why you rarely build it. But the next one is also a military uh, one, the Terracotta Army. Yes. So, plus two great general points. I know you are your arguments about great generals already, but all land units gain a promotion level, current land units. So you have to have a decent number of units to make that useful. Yeah, and then the third effect is that all archaeologists uh, may enter foreign lands without open borders. Which yeah, is, uh, yeah, I don't know. Pointless. Don't it's pointless. pointless. Why, like why? Like I, I also would... it has requirements for an encampment with barracks again or stable and a flat tile like yep. grasslands or plains. So 
I'm it's putting this a- at the high end of B because, like I said, B is the. Uh, I would say B is sort of like the in a in the right situation, it's going to be amazing. But that situation is is not super common. Uh, this, if you're conquering somebody, you're going to get an encampment. The AI loves encampments. Um, Mm -hmm. and like, this is just one of those wonders. If, if it lines up, it can like completely reinvigorate your war because everyone gets a promotion, which means everyone's going to get healed, which all that stuff, but I'm never building it in my territory. I'm never like, it's, yeah, it's just... I mean, would you get a promotion level when you conquer it? I, I doubt it. No, I'm saying I would build it in a city I was I conquered. Oh. Okay. And that's why I'm saying if the situation presents itself, I think mm-hmm. this is infinitely more valuable than, like, Statue of Zeus. Even though that's giving you troops, uh, Terracotta Army, you can build it and get that promotion and get... Like, if you're in the middle of a war this can like be game changing. I'm looking at the tier. Looks pretty good. Do, do you disagree with anything? I, you know, obviously Petra is in the wrong spot, but other than that, 